Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to take a look at the giant size Godzilla, Kong, and Scar King figures. These guys are pretty cool, and they're giant. I'd say about 12, 11, 12 inches tall. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at Kong. He looks cool. I got a tiny little paint defect in here that I can touch up. Looks like a little bit of the tooth paint went on his gums. But he's cool. Head can move a little bit, but not too much. Looks like he's been in a fight. This looks like a little bit of a paint defect. Here's his new gauntlet. That looks pretty cool. In the trailer, you can see him using it to punch something that got thrown at him. It looks really cool. He's got the same uh, articulation, basically, as the smaller figure. You know, shoulder, in and out, rotation. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. The articulation's the same. He looks pretty cool. Kind of wish his mouth was articulated, but that's all right. Let's put him over here and take a look at. I will stand you over here for a minute, lay you down. Let's take a look at Godzilla. Now, in the trailer, his his evolves form looks purple and this is more orange like reddish orange um maybe he's got another form that he turns this red but you can see when he uh when he evolves he's got these new spikes that come out of his elbow his tail let me turn him around a little bit his tail's got these new big spikes at the end um he didn't have that in the first Godzilla movie, Godzilla vs. Kong, his tail kind of looked like that. You know, no uh, no big spikes at the end. We'll do some comparisons later too, but I just wanted to point that out now while I was thinking of it. Um, let's see, is his mouth articulated? Yeah, his mouth can open and close. Basically the same articulation as the smaller figures. Um, joints are pretty stiff though, and I can't do it with one hand. I gotta hold the... Uh, camera with the other one because these guys are too big to uh record in my normal spot but here's the scar king his face looks a little derpy not gonna lie but i still like it looks cool he's got this little uh you know skull whip thing wrapped around his chest same articulation as a smaller one pretty cool looking yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They're pretty basic figures, but, you know, they're huge. Very fun for, uh, you know, setting up some cool play scenarios with. But let's go ahead and do some comparisons with the other figures that came out. All right, so here's Kong with the uh, Kong figure that came out for the first Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Here he is with the six inch uh, Walmart exclusive two pack with that weird like super orange look to him. But these are the six inch figures. This is the bigger 12 inch figure. I think he's 12, maybe 11, but you know, same kind of thing. And here he is with the little tiny one that came from the crystal. There's a little tiny guy, but that's Kong next to his uh, other figures that came out. Let's take a look at Godzilla next. All right, here's Godzilla next to the six inch Godzilla from the new movie. And here he is with the uh, little tiny one that came out of the crystal. Oh yeah, here's the uh, figure from the first Godzilla versus Kong. When he's like, uh, you know, his normal color with the blue and everything. This one, like I said, from the Walmart 2-pack has a weird, like, extra, extra light blue paint job. I'm guessing it's some, you know, some kind of reflecting light on them. I don't know for sure. But it's definitely a weird uh, light blue color to him. I mean, the bigger one doesn't have it, and he's the evolved figure also. I think this one with the exclusive paint job from Walmart is just like him with some weird lighting on him in a cave or something. But yeah cool figure here's his uh little comparison for size 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at Scar King. All right, here's Scar King with the uh, six inch figure that uh, came out from the same uh, wave of toys. He's got his little skull whip thing. That's the six inch figure. And uh, here's the little tiny uh, crystal one, the one that came out of the crystal. Pretty cool figures, like very basic, but very, very cool. All right, let's do a couple more comparisons. All right, here's uh, King Kong and Scar King squaring up. Looking pretty, uh, pretty cool. All right, here's Godzilla squaring up with nobody because they didn't make a 12-inch Shimu yet. I checked online. I checked everywhere. They don't have uh, a 12-inch Shimu. So luckily, from the first movie, we got... 12 inch Mecha Godzilla. So at least uh, Scar King can have some backup when they fight until they make a 12 inch Shimu, which I hope they do. But, you know, 6 inch Shimu is just too small to, uh, you know, fight this guy. But, all right. Here's the whole, uh, whole gang of them getting ready to uh, throw down. She's standing in for Shimu because, like I said, I don't have a Shimu yet. They didn't make it. At least I don't think they did. I can't find it anywhere. But I like Mecha Godzilla standing in. Maybe he even shows up in the movie. Who knows? And here's everything so far that I've gotten from the new movies. And uh, Mecha Godzilla too. But this toy line is great. I'm super excited for the new movie. And I really hope they keep making figures for it. Um, especially that 12-inch Shimu. But I recommend picking these 12-inch uh, figures up. They're pretty cool. They're only 25 bucks each, so it's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. These guys are cool. You guys excited for the movie, too? Let me know in the comment who your favorite is, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.